Hey everybody, Dale really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Rain the Floor along Louis' route. And as you can see, we're in the middle of a session here. A very pretty one, because this picture is just so gorgeous and passionate looking. Well, let's not spoil things, let's get back to it. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Something that I was hiding from, he easily finds it and delves right in. I clearly feel my thoughts moving in a direction they shouldn't be, further punctuated by how much easier it becomes to accept each subsequent kiss. If you don't wish to change, you can show me yourself. You can prove that no matter how much I touch you and kiss you, your mind won't change. Well, it's getting misty. Things are... I guess Violet's mind is clouded or something. Before I know it, we are surrounded by mist, and it gently moistens our skins. My chilled body instinctually seeks warmth, and I feel comfortable inside his warm arms, even though I shouldn't. <sighs> when I unconsciously wrap my arms around Louis' back... Violet... Louis whispers once more. The test is over. The words bring me back to reality, and I widen my eyes. Ugh, I failed. The incessant rainfall-like sounds of the water fountain fill in our silence. There is Louis, the same as always, standing in front of me, with a smile as if nothing had happened. Don't you just want to slap that smile off his face? No, I'm just kidding. I love Louis, but still. You're not being cool about this, man. The twin butterflies will make a fuss if you're too late. You may return home now. I'll get the carriage ready. His tone of voice sounds so calm, like that of a placid surface of a lake without ripples, although I still feel the warmth he left on my lips not so long ago. Louis maintains his attitude as if nothing had ever happened. <sighs> no, that's not it. The kiss we had was just a test to him. <sighs> I feel a burning deep inside my throat. Anger, disappointment, embarrassment, all these emotions mix together and overflow, but I can't put them into words. Or do you want to continue in the carriage? Maybe. That kind of sounds good to me. But Violet's not that kind of woman. The joking tone of his voice tears my heart apart. I try to hold back my tears and just shake my head. And I stare at him and say, No, I don't need anything from you. But Louis keeps his confident attitude. Oh, I see. Have a good night. I don't think anything we say could shake him. He just sends me home with a short goodbye. Ugh. When I turn my back to him and start to walk, the tears threaten to escape from my closed eyes. I just try to hold back the tears. How pitiful I am. I just curse my own imprudence and leave the place. Phew. Oh, that moon looks so pretty with the mist. A body can be defiled, but not the heart. I don't feel like I've won after being shown such beautiful scenery. Lorraine's emotions are like cause and effect. Instability in our mind is quickly reflected in a storm. It's likely everyone will question me tomorrow about what happened to her. Welcome home. Well, you're quite late today. Yes, but you seem to have come back earlier than you usually do these days. Asagi ditched me again, and I was about to drink to comfort myself. Aw, oh, poor Uranami. Oh, I see. I was just dumped by a princess as well. Really? But you had it coming, didn't you? Ah, <sighs> I was just thinking about gazing at the moon with my drink. Well, that's so much for that plan, since Louis did something to Princess. Well, I haven't done anything wrong. In fact, what I did should be appreciated. And how's that exactly? Unami, isn't this what you wished for? Oh, what does that mean? Even Unami has nothing to say to that. So? Well, what do you mean by that? I think it's time for you to tell me. Louis, your true intention. Well, I don't have any hidden intentions or anything. Wouldn't that be Hubert? I'm not sure how much of his truth you know. But I can confirm that it won't be long before something happens. Unanami, 
why don't you decide now which side you're on? Yes, I'll take some time to think about it. Hmm. Choose Violet's side. Never mind Louis and Hubert. Choose Violet. Choose me, the rain. Chapter 2 Epilogue, The Beginning of the End After I get in the carriage, I feel depressed. I don't want to see Louis. I don't want to see him. Oh, don't fool yourself. Violent. The test is over. No, I wasn't myself. I firmly state that myself, but the words sounded so weak. Test. How pitiful. I just want to go back and erase everything that happened. And I used crying over spilt milk. I look like a fool. I knew that it was a dangerous choice. I was so humiliated that I'll never be able to forget. I still remember the feeling from those kisses, and that makes me nothing more than an idiot. I don't want to see. I don't want to go. Yet I can't change the destination. I close my eyes, unable to bear my own weakness. Oh, princess, you're early. Hubert. I drag myself to the Crystal Palace, but there is only Hubert. Although it's a regular duty now, I still understand it is not easy to come here. Are you okay? Of course. I gently look away from him while nodding my head. I didn't want to see Hubert either, if possible. There's a lot of things you wanted that you can't have, apparently. There's no way that he didn't notice the fog last night. If he happens to ask me... That would disturb my mind even more. No one else has come yet. Let me take a look. No, you don't need to. But Princess... Ugh. Is there anything you want to tell me? Anything that I want to tell you? Or should I say, is there something you must tell me? My body naturally shrinks from his words. Ugh. You know what I want to know, don't you? <laughs> What should I do? How should I answer? I'll take the blame. That fog could have been because of me. Could have? Louis. Oh, that sounds like something I must hear. Please explain. This time the transfer will be done from the south to the north, meaning I'm the one who will be supplying. Princess felt my heart and became sympathetic. She even shed tears for me. <sighs> that is the highest honor for a knight. Please, I ask you to stop questioning Princess. Are you telling me to trust what you said? Of course, because it's the truth. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I know very well how kind Princess is. But, if I hear her mind become disturbed like that, especially before an important ceremony, that is not something to be praised, Princess. Yes, I understand. Jeez, Hubert. You're such a taskmaster. Hubert's eyes clearly show that he isn't fully convinced. I'm already scared when I think about what will happen after the ceremony, and... Even after Hubert leaves, Louis remains in front of me. What kind of trial is this? Thank you. I said so with a lot of meaning behind it, but Louis just smiles and says... Oh, don't mind me. I would do anything for a princess, and... I've already received worthwhile recompense from you in advance. <sighs> he smiles as usual and leaves, as if my feelings are none of his concern. We have to do the ceremony, but my mind isn't ready yet. I have to pull myself together. I can't be carried away anymore. I try not to look at him as he is conversing with the other knights who just arrived. Then I clench my fists. I'm... the rain. And we're skipping all the stuff again where she almost gets taken over by the goddess for the first time. Violet! Uh. Louis. Why? What's this? Why do I have to remember Louis' voice in this situation? No. I actually need it. Because he's always... Why do we have to have so many trailing sentences? Chapter 3, Louis 1, The End of Desire. Violet. 
Violet. <sighs> In my failing consciousness, his voice calling my name echoes. The voice isn't very loud. Rather, it's whispering. Hmm. He's watching me without a word. The... Eh. The moment I try to regain my consciousness, like tracing a thin string that lies before me. I told you, your feelings are completely meaningless. <sighs> go to sleep. Do not think anything. Just let go of yourself. Uh, uh, uh. The violent power flows into my body as if to devour it. Her appearance! Come back! Violet! Rain, wake up! Don't lose, Violet. You're the only Rain we have. <sighs> Everyone calls my name but Louie. He doesn't say anything. I'm suffering from the goddess's invasion and trying hard to reject it. He just stays and watches. Come on, Louie! Cheer me on like everybody else. Oh, I'm fine with whatever conclusion you come up with. I'll just follow your decision. That's not what I want to hear. I mean, I know it's just a memory, but still. Come on, Louie, give us new material. Give us something to go on here. Give us a reason to pull through. Which hopefully we'll get in the next video, because that's the end of this translation. So hope to see you there or in some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.